Hello everybody, happy Friday, I hope you're doing very well. The sun is still shining in the UK to tempt fate. I am actually on holiday in a week's time, though I am only travelling up to the very tip of Scotland without leaving the mainland. And typically Scotland is generally a little bit cooler than it is down in England, but that is a week away, so we shall see what happens there. For today, I have a football shirt to open. What a surprise, and it's in a box. What a surprise. The only thing is... There actually isn't a presentation box, this is just how it was shipped. It's come quite a way and it's, well, it's it says it's been x-ray and EDT, ETD screened, so um, I'm sure they were expecting me to be buying all sorts of wonderful things and they realised it was only a football shirt. And I've kind of jumped into the hype. I mean, I'm a little bit late because um, it's kind of one from last year, but um, it's, it's definitely one that... Uh, I, I think would fit quite nicely in my collection. I just kind of feel like I put it off a little bit, partly because it just wasn't available to buy. And secondly, it kind of goes against one of my rules, and that is sponsors. There's no sponsor on this one, though I have quite a few shirts from this country that don't have sponsors. So it seems to be only this country that wants to break that rule. So I shall get this opened up. I've had it for a while, as you would expect. And... I'm very excited to see what it looks like in person, because I've only seen images online. How am I going to get into this? Surely this should be an easy peel thing, maybe? No? Okay. It says pull to open, so we shall see. The fact that it's caked in sellotape is probably making that a little bit uh, more difficult. Um, hmm. I feel like I'm struggling with cardboard here, which is amazing. Oh, we have a gift. There we go. Come on. Right, so, without doing much more, I'm just going to squeeze this out like this. Try not to destroy the shirt. I don't suspect there'll be anything else in there. Okay then, so, there is the part of the shirt. It's a cream colour, creamy shirt. I do like a good cream shirt. And there we go. There's the front. You might already have an idea. I have a feeling most of you will have seen this one already. You would have probably have to have been living under a rock to not know what this one's all about. So let's get this one opened and see what it's like. Kappa shirt, which is certainly a very good thing right now. And it has many, many tags, which is great. So, there is the rear of this shirt. So it's a cream colour, like an off-whitey cream, vanilla, maybe you'd describe it as. And it has a red cross on the back of the neckline there. Might give you an idea of who this is. And it has this sort of polo collar, and it has a gold trim with this black base, and that seems to follow through onto the cuffs. Now we bring it around to the front. Ta-da! <gasps> Shock horror, there's no sponsor! Well... Unfortunately, I don't believe this one was ever available with a sponsor. This team doesn't always wear sponsors anyway, so to be honest, a lot of people would be quite distraught if it was bought with a sponsor because sometimes these classic shirts do need to be uh, left as they are. And there we go. So we have the front of the shirt. There is a pattern, sort of a sort of embossed styling, it seems like, going along the front there, maybe submitted. Seems to be very, very graphical. And then you have golden kappa, golden crest. And you have this sort of insert, this V insert here, which is a little bit golden. I don't know, it kind of feels a little bit weird, that does. Mm, I'd expect maybe a little bit more on the top. It looks That looks a little bit out of place, but maybe it looks better on, on the camera, etc. But it's good quality. It's kappa, so there is a little bit of elastication going on. It is saying it is the Gara styling. It is a regular fit, so sometimes you do get the super skin-tight slim boys. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be the case. And um, there we go. So I suspect probably a lot of you uh, have seen it at the very least. You might maybe have forgotten who the team was. But uh, I'll do what I usually do, dress the mannequin, and I'll come back to you. I, yeah, I get, I get it. I get why people were so sort of um, excited to try and get one of these. Okay then, so there is the shirt, and as you can tell by the way it sort of sits on the mannequin, which might be a little bit surprising to most people when it buy, comes to buying a Kappa shirt, it is kind of loosey-goosey fitting. Usually these ones are super skin tight and you kind of have to peel it over the mannequin and then when you try and take it off it just sticks to the, uh, to the body itself, but no, not this one. It actually is pretty forgiving, so if you did buy it up a couple of sizes, 
Um, yeah, you might be sort of walking around with <laughs> roundy knees, but um, you know what? I kind of prefer that. So the club, if you are not 100% certain who this is, it is Vasco da Gama. And this is their third trip from 2022. So the, the last season that has only, well, I'd say it's only just finished. The new season's begun, so it's last season's. I bought this from foot fanatics website that maybe you've never heard me speak about partly because i've never bought from and maybe it's one you're not familiar with it is as far as i understand it it's a brazilian website because vasco are a brazilian team i've known about the website for a while now in fact i've known about it probably since i started the collecting i want to say at some point it was difficult to buy in the uk but this one was very very easy to do so purchase it as you normally would and the shipping was like a week very very quick to arrive here it cost me 50 pounds plus shipping which i mean that's fair enough you know it was nowhere else where you could buy this shirt at least at the time of me making the purchase now the club well i say the club the actual overall club was founded in 1898 with the footballing department being created in 1915 and they come from the city of Rio de Janeiro, like a lot of Brazilian teams that are very, very popular. And they are named after the Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama, who was the first European, I believe, to discover India by sea around about 500 years ago. So yes, you can quite clearly see there's a connection between Portugal and Brazil and obviously the language, etc. And that's what they decided to do. They decided to name their club after him. In fact, I'm, I'm quite sure there's a few other clubs around, dotted around the world that are named after him, whether they're inspired by him generally or this club. I mean, it's possible that it could be both those things. Their primary rivals are Flamengo, Fluminense and Botafogo. So I have two of those teams, just need the one more. Now, they play in the top division, Serie A, and the season, like I mentioned, has begun quite nicely. Though what hasn't begun is really this team's level of performance. After 10 games at the time of recording, they've won one of those games, which is which is great. It's a great start, that is, so they might find themselves being relegated. Last season, they actually finished fourth in the division below. They got promoted. So it's not too surprising to see that they might be struggling, considering that they were in the second division just last year and may well be next year, which is a shame. But, you know, I suppose they got promotion wearing these shirts here, and especially that they were released for a second division team, so that's pretty interesting to say there. Uh, historically, though, they are one of the most successful teams in Brazil. They've won the league title four on four occasions, though the most recent one was in 2000, which, when I think about 2000, I think, oh, that's only two years ago. The reality is it's 23 years ago, and it makes me feel old, very, very old. <laughs> So yeah, they, are, they do have some history. It's just been a little bit since they've done so and probably based on this season performance, might be a while since they do it again. Now this is manufactured by Kappa, as obviously I've identified. And you know what? I think possibly Kappa may well be my favorite manufacturer right now. It has been Macron for quite a while. I feel like Hummel might have snuck in there just briefly, but I think Kappa right now, and the one which is a great resurgence for them because I'm sure when I started out collecting I wasn't 100% keen on them, not too keen. I actually have, I don't know if I've got any more Kappas to open, don't think so, but I do have one on route which is it's another beautiful, beautiful shirt. I, I think I'm going to have to do something where I put all the Kappas in one place and just sort of show them off because to show what they can do because the detailing on this, the level of effort they put into it and the, and the small stuff, and, and I mean it helps when you choose a beautiful colour scheme like they've done. I mean, it's just great, great stuff. They seem to be able to do this sort of personal touch on a lot of clubs, so I'm very, very pleased with that one. So the shirt was released to celebrate the 95th anniversary of the club stadium, and I can only imagine that sort of the artifacts and the design that's represented on here will be some, somehow showcased on the stadium. Sometimes when these shirts are released and it's meant to be inspired by something, it's it's a very, very tenuous link at best. Um, I'll have to leave that to any Brazilians who are maybe watching and are able to sort of fill in on that with that respect. So when it comes to the shirt, there's only a few other things that stand out. You've got the red cross on the back of the neck, which is well, the cross here. Well, I did notice on the inside of the collar, there is a um, Brazilian flag and a Portuguese flag, which you do notice because it's, well, it's the colors, which are very vibrant, the greens and the reds when you combine it against these sort of more neutral colors there. Um, but, you know, would I want a sponsor on this? 
Hmm, I probably would have actually bought it if there was one, but you know what? It's very, very nice, and I know that a lot of people were interested in this one, so I don't mind it. When I bought this, as far as I knew, there was no way you could buy it in the UK unless someone had done the same thing and then they were just selling it secondhand, or it was just a bunch of people selling fakes. Within about a week or so of me buying this, Classic Football Shirts had a bunch of them. You might have seen it on their social medias. You might have even bought one yourself from them. They had the home and the away as well, I think. Obviously, they had this one. The only time, though, that I've done this where I've made a purchase in Classic Football Shirts, I've sold it, and I've actually been able to get it for cheaper. So this was £50 plus a bit of postage. Classic Football Shirts were selling it at £70 plus it'd be free postage because it's over £50. So it's not going to be much when you put things all together it's like maybe 10 pounds and maybe if you get a discount code it might get close enough but i didn't totally get rinsed if classic football shirts were to put it up for like 40 pounds i'd be like why did this always happen i think at the time of recording they have only a few sizes left medium is one though so if you do are wearing medium and bear in mind i presume it's the same styling you could probably get away with it even if you are a large which again is very surprising for a kappa they probably do have the home and the weight. They're all similar styling. It's just this one stood out a little bit more, probably because of the colors. I think the goalkeeper shirt was also quite popular, but I'm not going to really buy any goalkeeper shirts. Though I do actually have a Brazilian goalkeeper shirt, which is interesting that I say that now. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, they are available. Um, don't expect there to be many more because obviously the season's finished now and this shirt's not going to be more available. In fact, you can actually still buy it from the place I bought it from. There's a few sizes there. If for whatever reason you feel like you want to do that, I suppose if you can save a little bit of change why not take advantage of that so there we go it is uh, a beautiful shirt in fact if i remember correctly it won the shirt of the year from classic football shirts from 2022 i think it was a fan vote so they did post a load of options um i mean is it probably the best shirt 2022 for me personally probably not there's probably some shirts that i've already bought this year that i've naturally have forgotten that do look a little bit better but i can understand why they went for it i have a few of their shirts of the years now i think there's the venezia from last year i think that won it i had the inter milan home shirt the pinstripe one i think that won it one year as well but uh, they also had a few weird ones like there's a manchester city one in there which i'm like i don't really understand how that ever made that list but i, I don't know i suppose back i don't even know back then they were doing that sort of thing but which clearly they were so yeah i get it i understand that i'm pleased to own it it's nice it's just one of those ones that i will just slide away next to like the manta de massa shirts and you know so it's, it's a good section it seems like the brazil's part of my shirts are seemingly some of the better ones the botafogo anti-racism shirts very smart of course the corinthians Ayrton Senna shirts very cool i actually have another brazilian shirt which will be arriving at some point whenever which is really cool actually it's an interesting concept which um yeah keep your eyes peeled for that one because it's very very special um so yeah that's it i hope you have a great weekend ahead hopefully the continuation of this weather and yeah i'll see you next week with some more show openings got plenty more to go thank you as always for watching my videos goodbye